Oh, baby. What's up? It's Rob Cressy. And today I want to talk about my mindset and process for scaling my business with a baby on the way. Oh, so soon. And what I'm going to be doing is giving you insight on how I'm building my airplane while flying it and selling it at the same time. So uh, I've got my first child on the way, which I've talked about previously very soon. And this is something that I am so excited about. This is a realization of a dream for me and my wife and our family. So let's start at the very beginning. And as soon as uh, we found out that we were having a child, I was like, boom, my focus like doubles down and I already am that I am always in focus, but even more so now. So what did I do to ensure that I snapped into focus? Well, the second we found out, I wrote down how many days remaining until the baby arrived. And the reason for this is because I wanted to make sure that I appreciated and took advantage of every single day available until that baby arrived. And what I was doing was preparing myself and my business for what I wanted life to look like the day the baby arrived. So since we all get to design our lives and our businesses and everything that's in the world, all right, now let's design what I want this to be like. And I'm someone who is family first, so my family is going first. So how do you design a business where if you want to spend time with your family, you have that ability? Because as an entrepreneur, I both get zero or unlimited paternity days, depending on how you look at it. And I am someone who wants to be there every step of the way and have a house full of love because I've been dreaming of this moment. So it's like, all right, now I'm counting down the number of days and I'm building a system and a process for my business. And this is something that I've been doing for the last decade, but it's always rang in the back of my head, the power of a system and a process. And this is something that I learned from a scalability standpoint. So um, back in the day, I, I landed a dream opportunity where I was hosting a baseball show where I was creating two videos a day, five days a week for a baseball app. And I loved it. It was amazing. I'm creating about baseball content every day. And it took me about seven hours to um, conceptualize, record, edit, publish, and then do it all over again for the second video every single day. So over the course of an entire season, two videos a day. And I realized something. I was like, crap, this is not a scalable model that I couldn't take on three or four or 10 more of this client because it was taking seven hours out of my day for this client. And inevitably, you know what happens? Clients come and go, oftentimes, through no fault of your own. The company that I was working with, hey, that the baseball season ended and with it went the opportunity. So I was like, all right, I learned that that model was not for me. So while I am someone who hosts shows and believes in talent, not to the point where I am spending seven hours on it because that is not scalable. So I learned that. So I'm like, all right, how do I scale myself? in my business with having a child on the way where I still am going to deliver all of the value, but how can I just be there less? And one of the perspectives that I'm really feeling into is I am that I create more output by working less. And it is very contrarian to the hustle culture that we live in. And certainly in the world of entrepreneurship, it's like, how do you make your dreams happen and everything you want? Hustle, 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 hustle real hard. Yeah, I get it. I'm already about that life. But 
where is the perspective or place that we can stand where you say, all right, I am going to create more output by working less. And that's what I, for the last, however long it takes to make a baby, I don't know, nine months or however many days that is, 270 some days have been designing in my business day after day. So what have been the things that I have been doing to design said uh, system and process? Number one, and this is just what I love to do, is content creation. I love to create content because that allows me to scale myself. I can create a one-to-many relationship where I can have a positive impact on others. And you can feel the emotion in my voice and hear me and you can see me. Cool, I can now duplicate that. But now I wanna package this into a format that is more evergreen in nature because one of the challenges a lot of people run into is that in the social world that we live in, content just comes and goes. It's like, oh, I consumed it, boom, moving on. But what I've learned through my own personal growth and development in where I saw the biggest transformation in my own life was when I was very intentional about what I was consuming and from who and where. And when I think about it, I've learned an insane amount through podcasting. I've learned an insane amount through other coaches. I've learned a ton through um, speakers. But where I have learned the most is an intentional coaching programs where I set out to be part of something where one of the modules was a video-based learning where they say, hey, here's the concept, consume this information, then we're going to talk about this in the coaching program or in the group coaching discussion. And this is something that has helped me learn because one, I can learn the concept and then two, I can put it into practice and then talk about it in either the one-on-one or the group session. So I'm like, great, I am going to build that out for my business because if I've seen value for that myself and I know it works, then that is part of the architecture of how I want to deliver value for other people. So as I've looked at the personal growth and development space, I feel like if we are building the entrepreneurs and leaders and creators of today and tomorrow, how would we do it? So did college teach me how to be an entrepreneur? And the answer is no. It was a fast track to inside sales. And I had a marketing degree, so it did not do what I intended to do. I was like, I dream of working for an ad agency, being creative, brainstorming and creating ideas. Did not happen that way until a decade later when I created my own company doing that. But nonetheless, if we wanted to create the skills that are necessary not geology, not calculus, the things that I never learned, the things that would serve me, the mindsets, the perspectives, the ways of being, how would that be done? And I was like, well, I would just teach that into a, um, what I'll call a digital university platform for personal growth and development. And I would reverse engineer the way that I have personally developed myself and seen my own transformation and seen the transformation in my clients and put it into a package that allows people to not only one, consume the content, but two, I can use that for my existing and future coaching clients to flip the classroom and create more value by introducing the concepts before we talk about them so that our coaching calls aren't just, let me talk to you and introduce you to something, boom, you've already got that. So for the last 270 days, I've been architecting this. So I'm like, all right, well, what does a digital university for personal growth and development look like? And I started with my 10 foundational mindsets. And it's something that if you're interested in, go to robcressy.com backslash transform. You can go there, get free access to it. And I said, what do I know now that I wish I knew 10 years ago? Boom, created that in 10 foundational mindsets. Then I started to spiderweb everything. And I listened to the language and the coaching calls of the people that I'm working with. What are the things that they're struggling with or challenged or what do they want to do more of or what's limiting them? And these are things of people who are high achievers and entrepreneurs and CEOs and business owners. Because the thing about having a growth mindset is 
We're always learning. We're always improving. We're always getting better, no matter what level you're at. And that's the beauty of the platform that I'm building is whether you're starting at entrepreneurship at zero all the way up to you're a high performer who's straight crushing it. Everybody still has opportunities to improve and get better in their life in creating those perspectives and ways of being that allow us to show up as the best version of ourselves. So I started to reverse engineer the most important um, habits, routines, mindsets, and daily practices that I do that can help deliver a transformation for somebody else. And then I'm creating and have created group coaching programs on top of that, as well as one-on-one coaching opportunities. And I want to share all of this because this is just the beginning of this. This is version 0.001, but you've got to get started. And with the baby on the way, I'm just watching this little 270, 269, 268, 267. I'm just watching the days tick by until where I sit here now, I'm like, that baby is almost on the way. And one of the things that I've been very good at is from a vision standpoint that I prepare for what's difficult when it's easy. I know that my life is going to change in a positive manner when that baby comes and I'm prepared for it and I'm oh so excited. But you know what else I'm excited for is everything that I believe in, the structure, my foundation. As Ed Milet says, the bigger the dreams, the deeper the foundation. The foundation that I have built is a decade deep preparing for this moment. Boom, I've got that. So now everything that I believe in and that is part of who I am is going to get to put to the test because my routine that I've created over the last decade, that's about to completely change. And the way that my time and my organization and my focus, it's going to be happening in new manners. And I'm going to be sharing all of this in real time as it's going. And that's one of the things that I love about creating is I create from a place of love. And one of the perspectives that I've recently adopted is I create my systems to be full of love and help you transform as much as possible. So Everything that I'm building is coming from that place, a place of love, a place for transformation. Because I'm like, what do I wish somebody else would have created and designed for me that could help me along on my journey? And since I already know that because I'm my own client and I've seen it, I'm just going to create it. So that's what I've been working on. I've been investing heavily into um, content marketing as it relates to SEO. So building pillar articles around podcasting and brand building and personal growth and development and mindset and using the long tail nature of things where you rank and then you link for things and all of a sudden your organic views are going up. And this is an area where I've had a ton of success over my career because I'm willing to invest in the long-term nature and I'm willing to do things correctly. So that was the second thing that I've been doing. And... With this, I'm going to go back to the perspective of creating more output by working less. And working less, we get to choose what work means in this scenario. And for me, I love coaching and I love creating. Those are two things do not feel like work to me. I love it. I wake up every single day. I clap my hands and say, this is going to be a great day. That's actually from uh, Jerry Maguire. But uh, that's how I actually feel when I'm coaching and creating. I really do. I love it. I love helping people and I love creating. I love doing this stuff. So I want to be doing more of that. And for me, I want to be doing less of the work, the things that I don't want to do. So creating a system and process to allow me to create more input. Boom. We got some SEO stuff over here. Long-term organic goes to the newsletter, newsletter goes to an automation sequence where I found the most valuable content. Boom, let me give this to you to help you along on your journey. At the same time, I'm creating some real-time content to my newsletter. Hey, here's what I'm learning. Here's how I can help you. What can I do to be an asset to you? All of this different stuff. Then I think about other ways to create more output. Well, now 
with me having a digital platform, it allows me to be a significantly more powerful creator and coach because now I can scale myself and deliver value for you without me even being there. So now when we do jump on coaching calls together, it is even more powerful from an output standpoint because now we're talking about the things that you really want to talk about, that you really want to know the challenges and self-limiting beliefs. Because I heard something that a coach is here to talk with you about the hardest things going on in your life. Everybody loves to talk about puppy dogs and rainbows, but I know the biggest and best transformation happens when you dig the deepest. When you say, Rob, I am noticing my action not being as powerful here or these self-limiting thoughts or beliefs, or I would like to create something that I have not done yet. Maybe it's a morning routine, or who knows, but maybe it's a podcast, all of these different things. So I'm building power into my business by investing in my systems and my processes and my structure. And I'm so excited about this because it's allowing me to, one, be in love with everything that I'm doing, but two, help more people in a more powerful manner. And then last but certainly not least, all of this is getting me to show up in a way where I'm the best example possible for my son who's on the way. So now, as I think about everything going on in my own life, my own judgments, my own self-limiting beliefs, because of course, over the last 270 days, it has not been puppy dogs and rainbows, anything but. We moved from Chicago to Sarasota, bought a house, packed a house, drove cross country, unpacked a house, baby on the way, lots going on. But guess what? It's all good and I am ready to say, you know what? I am stepping up and I'm going to be 10 times better, 100 times better because that is the perspective and way that I choose to show up. And I know that this baby is going to be a blessing, the greatest blessing in my life. So I wanted to share this with you because uh, the next time you hear from me, maybe the baby has arrived. And I love to keep it real, let you know what's going on in my world, how I'm building my business, how I'm helping other people, how people can work with me. And I'm so excited to dive even deeper into some of these contrarian concepts of more output in less work because it's happening as we speak and it's only going to further um, continue to get doubled down on. So I would love to hear from you about these thoughts and perspectives on creating more output in less work or preparing for what's difficult when it's easy or building systems and processes or my digital university around personal growth and development and habits and routines and mindsets or coaching. So much goodness in all of this. I just want to hear from you. You can hit me up on all social channels at Rob Cressy. Slide into my DM. Say what's up. Would love to be in conversation with you. Otherwise, sending tons of good vibes your way. I hope that you have yourself an amazing rest of the day. Yeah.